If you want to build a PC that can play games at 1080p and even 1440p flawlessly and also be a great 4K video editing workstation without spending a small fortune, then this Value 14700K build is for you. Starting with the motherboard, there are a lot of great Z790 budget boards and to make things easy, I went with the Asus Tough Gaming Z790 Plus Wi-Fi. It's featured to the brim with everything you can think of. The VRM config is strong and the rear I.O. is superb. You just have to make sure that the BIOS is updated to support the latest 14th gen CPUs. As easy as it was to choose the motherboard, choosing the RAM kit wasn't as easy as DDR5 RAM prices are in a weird spot. On one hand, you can buy a basic 16GB kit for almost $70, but for $100, not only can you get a 32GB kit, it's going to be a fast one. I was able to spot a Corsair Vengeance 32GB 2x16GB DDR5 6000 CL30 RAM kit for around $115. I know that it's still steep, especially for a value build, but it is worth it. Since I reserved a handful of the budget on the RAM, I was delighted to find an amazing case for around $500. The Fantax Eclipse P400A Digital can fool anyone with its build quality and design. It looks and feels premium and the airflow is quite good as well. It comes with four fans and fits pretty much anything you can think of. You can even go with a large 360mm AIO and show off your PC with a full tempered glass side panel. It handily beats any case in its price category. Similarly, the Thermalright Peerless Assassin 120SE beats out any CPU cooler in its price category, although an AIO would be ideal for the i7. The Peerless Assassin will get you 99% cooling of an AIO at less than 70% the price. Just like the cooler, the SSD of choice is also very well priced. The Crucial P5 Plus is pretty much the lowest price M2 PCIe 4.0 SSD with a DRAM cache. For around $75, you can get the 1TB model, which should be plenty for any game or productivity task. Moving to the graphics card, I chose the AS Rock Radeon RX 6700 XT Phantom Gaming D as it has slightly better performance and specs as the PlayStation 5's GPU. It should easily last this console generation, especially for 1080p gaming. Lastly, this entire PC should consume about 400 watts of power if both the CPU and GPU are loaded heavily. The Corsair RM750E will take care of that as it is a 750 watt unit rated with 80 plus gold efficiency. This PSU is ATX 3.0 and is ready for PCIe 5.0 GPUs so you can even upgrade to the RTX 4090 without worrying about upgrading your power supply. Overall, this is a really fast PC and will stay relevant for years to come. I chose all the parts with great care to ensure they offered top-notch performance at the lowest possible prices. For this budget, I could have built a PC by allocating the most of the budget to the GPU, but I built it around the i7 14700K for those who are looking for really strong CPU performance. The 6700 XT is no slouch either. It will comfortably last this console life cycle, which is why I chose it. Still, if this is underpowered to your liking, this should be the only component that would need replacing. The estimated cost for everything mentioned is around $1,300, and you can check prices for each component in the description.